Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from The Automator. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get the correct comma object for your Office programs. And it might work for other programs as well. And make sure you stick around because you're going to learn how to adapt this to your needs, especially if, you know, the other programs you're getting or something, or you want to grab something different. And, and Isaias is going to walk through how we looked up some of the stuff on Microsoft documentation, which I just hate. So <laughs> Totally. So uh, just kind of like specify why we're doing this, because right. you can use the com object object or com object create method or you know function to get the com object of um, word and excel and most of the times it's going to work totally fine but there's certain situations and i'm going to explain why when you try to use that method you get the wrong com object and when you get the wrong com object your program is going to stop working um and we it's going to behave very strangely yeah, it's going to be very weird. And actually, you you had this Excel library a, a long time ago, and it right. used this thing, and you said, like, I don't know why we do that, but we have to do it. Right. And later on, when we were working in a specific project, I was like, why is this stuff working? And you said, like, it maybe has to do with that. Right. And it turns out it was. So let's just go ahead and um, start from there, and I will let you know. In here right now, I have this situation in which I have Word open. And I opened my task manager to show you what the real problem is. So as you can see, I only have one document, one Word document open. But in my task manager, I have two different instances of Word. And in the pop-up, you will see that one of them has dash embedding at the end on the command line. So it says WinWord dash embedding. And the other one doesn't have that. It is just a program itself. This embedding object, this embedding executable gets called when you open more than one document. And sometimes it just happens randomly. I'm not, I'm, I cannot really explain why this, op this document opens. The problem is that sometimes when, when you have two instances of Word and you try to connect to the object by using com object active or, or create com op active. Com object um oh, so, right uh, but there well, is an active one as well i think but yeah right exactly so it was com object active this is the one that actually you use the word dot application that would actually try to connect to the word document but the problem is as you have two instances each of them have a com object and you by mistake sometimes not always connect to the wrong one. And there's no way for you to actually let it know which one you want to connect to. It just goes ahead and connects to the available com object. And sometimes it gets the one from the embedding executable, which doesn't have a document. And whenever you try to do anything with documents, like get the selection or change something, it is not gonna work. So there, that's the reason, that's the problem that we were trying to solve. And you had some code from a little while ago that uses the object from window from the ACC library, which is the accessible object from window. And you have to pass a handle to it and then go get back a com object for it. Now the handle that we're doing, and this is the part that we're doing in line four, we're getting a handle to a specific control. And as you can see here, I'm actually passing a class NN and a window title. And you can get those by using the Windows Spy information here. You just go ahead and open your Word document. And here's your class for the window, right? So the window class. And down here is the class NN, or that is the class NN for the control. The control that I'm actually targeting is the Microsoft Windows document. And this class NN, the second uh, executable here, the one that says embedding, doesn't have that. So basically, as that particular executable doesn't have that, I am for sure targeting one that has a document in it. So that's the idea behind it. Now, when I do that, you will see the code now. The, the, there's two sections of this. is getting the handle to the document control. This is what I do. And then passing that handle to the ACC library, to the accessible object from window, and it would actually return a com object for me. Now, you will notice that here I have this object ID native OM. 
So the original code that you gave me was minus 16, just like this. Right. Right. And I was like, why do I have to pass that when I see here that the, uh, the default one is minus four? I don't even know what they mean. I have no clue what the heck is going on. So let me go ahead and find out. So what I did is that I went ahead and looked for the iAccessible from Windows. This I looked for it on the internet. And from the object uh, accessible from window function, I just looked, looked it up. And the parameter that I'm actually kind of like interested in is the one that says DWID because I'm passing kind of like an ID. I noticed that that is the second parameter that I'm passing. The ID object is the second parameter that I'm passing. And the second parameter is this guy here. And it says that I need to pass an object identifier. So I clicked on that to see what the identifiers are. And I got this list. Now notice that this list doesn't have the values, like which one is minus 16? I have no clue. So what I decided to do, and usually you can do this at the bottom, you will see a header file, which is the win user, win user H. And I Googled win user, win user the H and found the GitHub uh, version of it because that, that gives you the file itself. What I did was try it one by one, just going ahead and finding it and I got the values. But it so just happens that the values are in hexadecimal numbers. So now I, I still cannot get, you know, which one is minus 16. So basically what I had to do is manually copy those into a converter like this. And at the bottom, you see this, the sign form has the minus seven. And I said, bingo. Now we have, we, we could just go ahead and try each of them. And basically if I go down, the, the more down I go, you know, the larger the more yeah the larger the number might be and in the end i was able to find the minus 16 that i was looking for and that turns out to be object id native om and if you go to the description of that it tells you in response to this particular identifier third party applications can expose their own object model and that's basically what i'm trying to do right. i'm telling word hey give me your own from object, the one that you use back to me. Um, and that's the reason why we have to pass minus 16. Um, and what I did is just, just added it as a variable, pasted it here so that it is a little bit more obvious what I'm trying to access. And just for my future self, I just copied the description here and pasted a link to it. In case I forget what the heck does that mean or whatever, I can just go back, refer to the original link. And that way I could just um, um, get my, my, you know, get a little bit of information about it. Now, if I run this code, you will notice that I'm just going to stop right here before getting the com object. So the object is undefined right now. And when I run over it, I know that I got a com object. The cool thing about that is that now I can be sure that this particular com object has a document element on it and my code will not fail any longer because <laughs> my code was failing because the object that I was getting didn't have a document element on it. And then I'm just curious because we haven't tested this, right? So I'm going to throw a monkey wrench at you. What if uh -huh. you had multiple instances of Word open and you wanted a specific one. Could you then, is it going to return you a list? Do you know? No, it will not return a list. Now, the way how you can basically kind of like control that now would be oh, with skipped. the window right. title here. Right. So with the window title, you can actually specify a window yeah. title. So for this one would be, yeah. I don't know, document one. But for another one would be a different. So if you want to target a specific document, but, then the title would be a little bit different. But here's what is weird to me is a fa oh never mind okay because i was gonna say because well why don't we just do that in the first place but it's because um my, it, it wouldn't differentiate when you put in that title of that specific document well actually in the one well, in the example right, for the client right. we don't know right well, if, well in the sample for the client i was just targeting the active one so i would assume and this is something i am assuming and it is good that you bring it up because then we might revisit our code and make sure that this right. is the correct way of going is that if I just do this, the word document like that, it might get just the active one. And basically for our purposes, 
we are assuming that the people are just working with one document because it looks like his clients are usually just working with one document at a time, but it is an assumption on my part and that is bad. You should never assume. Right. But in our case, it has been working fine for our purposes uh, until we get the, <laughs> the call. Hey, I have three documents right. open and it's not getting the right one. Yeah, he, we will have to figure that one out. But the idea is that you can get probably, I could get the Windows active, Win active, whatever is active at the moment. And that would yeah. give me, you know, the ID. So the ad ID, and I would, instead of using this here, uh, I could use cool. just HK ID right. and just pass the ID that I just have oh. in there. You know, so that, that would give yeah. me um, a, a, a very specific um, handle to the current document that is open. And I would assume that it is um, a, uh, a word ID, and if it is not, if the hand, if I could not get a handle, then just return. Don't, then don't do, don't do anything. You know. So basically, I just force my program to make sure that it's a a word document. But basically, it is good that you mentioned that because again, you cannot easily control it, but you can. Basically, the way that you would control it is targeting a specific window id or a window title and the windows title could be an id or you know the name of the document whatever you want just to make sure that you target the correct window but in the end i just wanted to let you know this even though it is just specifically for word because i'm using this particular control could be generalized by using a function so if you have a function return uh, object you can actually pass the class nn and window title, win title, and then just make this section down here. So you can just do this, just return that. And this section here, just make it variable. So basically right. here would be a class and then, and this would be the window title, and then just pass it to it. And the reason for that is because I know that it happens for Word. I know that it happens for Excel. And so basically for most of the Microsoft Office programs, but it can happen to other programs as well, but I don't know. So basically I could not tell you, you know, <laughs> this will not happen to anyone. No, it might happen. And this is a sure way of getting the correct COM object for a specific program. And if you're not used to working with objects, um, this URL above me here, we have a, a, an amazing course that teaches you working with objects and classes. And then the other one is if this is just a bit too much for you, um, <laughs> we also do consultations. So if, if you have something you're trying to solve, because this is one of those weird things, like it was sort of working, but we had bugs. And it's what I, actually, I put it in the newsletter, it goes out today. I'm like, you know, if your code often works, but sometimes break and you think auto hotkey's buggy, you know, this is not to point fingers, but usually it's, it's our own code. It's not auto hotkey, right? <laughs> right. So it sometimes you want a little code, help. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes you just want a little expert help to, to help level you up a little bit. And that's what like the consultations or tutoring, if you like to, um, can help you with. So thanks to Zayas. That, um, and that first link I had over my head is where you can get the, the script. So hope Very that helps. Nice. Cheers. Bye. Oh, and by the way, we didn't go over the code, but we do have this uh, com object connector in both version one and version two. So if you're looking for version two, which it is slightly different, um, yeah, just go get the download still.